briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a notable ruling, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit in 1988 heard the case of the National Petrochemical Company of Iran versus the M.T. Stoltchief, which led to a significant discussion regarding the access of foreign governments, specifically unrecognized ones, to U.S. courts. Caught within the midst of the Iran-Iraq War was Iran's National Petrochemical Company, NPC, who found itself tangled up in a global commerce dispute. It had purchased chemicals from Monri Enterprises in Germany. However, as a result of the ongoing war, these chemicals were unexpectedly rerouted to Taiwan. Suspecting foul play, NPC lodged a complaint against the defendants, making serious allegations of fraud, conversion, and the falsifying of bills of lading. At the district level, the court outright dismissed NPC's complaint. The justification for this dismissal stemmed from the fact that NPC was a fully owned entity of Iran, a foreign government which at the time did not hold formal recognition by the United States. Thus, it was argued, NPC was not entitled to bring suit to the United States courts. However, the U.S. Court of Appeals took a different stance, pushing against the lower court's decision. The court recognized the need for considering the larger geopolitical landscape and the complex relationship between the U.S. and Iran. Despite the absence of formal diplomatic recognition, assessment of the willingness on behalf of the U.S. executive branch to enable Iran to access U.S. courts allowed the judiciary to make a groundbreaking move. Navigating nuanced judgments and respects to matters of foreign policy, the Court of Appeals lifted the impasse. They concluded that NPC was indeed entitled to proceed with its diversity suit, thereby reversing the initial decision of the district court. This decision centered on the substantial evidence that the executive branch showed a readiness to allow Iran to engage with and resolve its claims within the U.S. legal system. Drawing attention to key diplomatic agreements like the Algerian Accords and the 1955 Treaty of Amity, alongside the establishment of the Iran-U.S. Claims Tribunal, the court ruled that the president's indirect power in international relations extended beyond the formal recognition of foreign nations. Busting the myth of a potentially dangerous precedent being set, the court deemed that this lawsuit would serve justice more effectively through its pursuit. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.